It seemed at first that the midterm elections might turn on the economy or health care, and then ISIS, and now Ebola. But the media narrative this week was all about Barack Obama, and the pundits have been piling on, especially after he called into Al Sharpton's radio show and said this about all the Democratic candidates who don't want to be in the same zip code as him. The bottom line is, though, these are all folks who vote with me. They have supported my agenda in Congress. This isn't about uh, my feelings being hurt. I will tell you this, it is all about his feelings being hurt, because I think in the end, the president really can't get his, his head wrapped around the fact that he is over. He was a citizen of the world, the most interesting, most sought after a rock star, a political rock star on the planet. And now he's got to hide under his desk until November. This is a total humiliation for him. We've got so many different candidates, um, Democrats, who are giving at best wishy-washy answers as it pertains to their relationship with President Obama. So is the press reflecting reality or making these elections about the president? Joining us now, Jonah Goldberg, editor-at-large for National Review and a Fox News contributor. Christina Bellantoni, editor-in-chief of Roll Call. And Joe Trippi, Democratic strategist and also a Fox News contributor. Jonah, are the media, in fact, making these midterms about President Obama, or is Obama making them about himself? Yeah, I think this is one of these all-of-the-above kind of things. The media likes talking about Barack Obama. Barack Obama likes talking about Barack Obama. Um, and I, I, in the setup, you said it's supposed to be up to the economy. I still think this election is largely about things like the economy and Which foreign policy. Which you could not tell if you just looked at the media coverage. No, I agree with that entirely. But that stuff is setting the is the background radiation for everything about how the election is actually going to play out. And I don't know that the media is doing the Democrats or Obama any favors by making this all about Obama. Because the one thing we know is that a lot of people are tired of Barack Obama. Joe Trippi, the New York Times this morning has a bunch of Democrats blaming the president in advance for what might be the loss of the Senate. And even liberal Washington Post columnist Dana Milbank is writing about President Pariah. Fair or unfair? Well, no, it's, look, it's the reality. The reality is, and that's what the press is reporting, the reality is in every midterm, it's the president's favorability and approval ratings that have the biggest impact. The one measure that you can count on that will tell you which party is going to win or lose is that. And his numbers are low. And, he, and the rest of the election, the rest of the candidates is about how far can I get away from him or how can we tie him, them to him? And that's all this election's about. And it's very easy for the media to point out to, you know, for example, CQ vote studies, which we released on Friday, which really show how often anybody voted with or against the president. That's a very easy line for the Republican campaigns to use against, you know, if it's 97 percent with Barack Obama or 100 percent with Barack Obama in some cases. And so the media reports that. But the, he isn't hiding under his desk. In fact, he's out there campaigning for gubernatorial candidates. Yes. And he has been raising money across the country the entire year. And so the Democrats are taking his money, but not necessarily saying, hey, let's show up together. But does this easy storyline miss the fact that these are a collection of state and local races with state and local issues and personalities, as well as the overriding question of um, support for or running away from the president? So I talked to a Democratic pollster this week who said to me that if we can make it about local issues in a place like North Carolina, where Kay Hagan has really attacked Tom Tillis, the House Speaker, on education, if she can win on that issue and we know early enough in the night that she's going to be able to win on that issue by a hair, well, then maybe we're going to be OK. We can get away from this fact that it's the Maybe that would be the in the national. local coverage, but I'm not seeing that much of that in the national coverage. Very little. Well, the, but that's what's going on. I mean, if you're a Democratic candidate, you're trying to get local coverage and make yeah. it a local race. And the national media has a tougher time with that and so the easier narrative also, is Obama. It's also worth remembering that you know what Barack Obama was doing was trying to get out his base when he was talking to Al Sharpton there and normally you would do that kind of thing a couple days before the election you know he's trying to tell the black vote which is the one monolithic block that still right. is with him don't listen to all these guys trashing me. Um, the problem but is you, you can't, can't be under the radar anymore. You can't micro-target anymore. And that's Everybody the knows about the, the, that interview on the radio. Okay, pulling back to the national media, a study by the Conservative Media Research Center shows that ABC's World News Tonight, since September 1st, and we updated these figures, has not done a single story on the midterm elections. Uh, CBS Evening News, 14 stories. NBC Nightly News, 11 stories. And this is versus a combined total of 159 back in 2006 when it was pretty clear the Democrats were on the verge of taking over both houses of Congress. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's outrageous. And, and I, I think it is, you know, it's a perfectly legitimate, yeah, MRC is conservative, but those numbers aren't conservative or liberal. Those numbers are the numbers. And I, I will say, you know, look, I'm sure that I, I know this is for a fact, 
that lots of people are turned off by politics these days. It doesn't get great ratings. But if you don't have a national news media to cover major national elections, what do you have them for? And as a matter of their, their, you know, their, I don't know, their FEC license or whatever, FCC license, yeah. they should be required to cover political campaigns, and they're not doing it because it's a bad story for Obama and Democrats, and, uh, and they don't like it. I don't, I don't think it has anything to do with bad story for Obama and the Democrats. It has to do with it doesn't rate. It's just no one care. I mean, everybody, when you're going to get this low turnout election where everybody's disinterested or disenchanted with both, both parties, what you're seeing in the coverage is a reflection of if we did a show, a, a segment every Monday about the Senate races, who would watch? And, you know, we, I, it, in the last cycle... With, on Brett Baer's special report, I was on every every week with with Carl Rove. I don't remember being on once or twice this year. So this maybe is about getting more airtime for Joe Trippett. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. But I'm just saying. I think. It, I mean, I think that's legitimate, though. It's just not as interesting a story. Special report is doing time. a lot of coverage of the midterms. No, no, they are. I'm not saying that. I'm just. I'm not. Overall, show, I'm just saying overall I think media coverage, including I mentioned a series of stories in the New York Times about Democrats running away from Obama, make it perfectly clear that this, we have an unpopular president and that we have a Democratic Party not wanting to be tied to that president. But zero stories on the midterms. How is that possible? So when I read those numbers, uh, that was very surprising to me. And, you know, point it. So I went on the World News Tonight like app and just sort of looked under politics. And the lead story was three awkward intera interactions between celebrities and John Kerry. And, you know, so in some part of this is you get the media that you demand. You know, stories like that are getting clicked on and so they're being rewarded. But this is also a resource issue. You know, I run a newsroom and there are choices you have to make in every case. I mean, we focus incredibly a lot on the elections and the campaigns. We've been sending reporters on the trail. But if you're a newsroom that had a ton of resources in 2006, you have fewer of those now. You're not going out and covering it. And everybody's trying to save for what they know is going to be this blockbuster 2016. Right. I think those year, are good points. Which is still getting more interest in I ratings. Think, I think those are good points.